Is this the place? Under this tree? Yep. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. We could sit there for hours at a time, never realizing how long it had been. I was actually adopted by the people of Amar Village. The forest rangers found me in the woods as a child. I was surrounded by such good people and growing up in the village was so lively. Still, there were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? <sighs> uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to or if I should say anything at all. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. <laughs> really? You know exactly how I feel? Sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well... I guess you could say that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. He was so thoughtful and pure and patient too. Whenever I talked to him, he would always seem so interested, as if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Ever since he disappeared, there's been so much I wanted to tell him. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow, you two must have been really close. Did he ever tell you anything about himself? Hmm... He mostly just talked about interesting things he saw around the village. He'd share a lot of his own wild ideas as well. Oh, right! I did ask him about his parents once. But all he said was, they're not here anymore. I didn't know whether that meant they had left the village or passed away, and I didn't want to pry. Hmm... Still not much to go off of. Uh, look at me. Talking your ear off and still nothing to show for it. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. The last time I talked this much in one go was when we were still together. Huh, come to think of it, every time we talked it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? over there. Doesn't it seem like they're acting a little strange? Oh, <laughs> 
Shine down. Here comes the catch. There is no escape! Thank you so much! I wasn't expecting monsters to show up. If you hadn't been here, I'm not sure what I would have done. It was no trouble! Hmm, now that I think about it, the hilly trolls around Vrumara village have been a lot more active lately. They seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight. Chief Amadea doesn't allow the children to play in the area around the village anymore. Hmm, maybe the Abyss Order really is involved. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in Vimara village just in case. If the Abyss Order is plotting something, that could spell trouble for the villagers. Yeah. 